So now we'll get the vegetables. That way we can give all that stuff to him straight away. Strawberry, go away. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't I'm me so now. ashamed. Give you Woe is me. In. Here we go. Permission to enter the garden. Here. Here's my permission to enter the garden. Please. Enter the garden. That was easy. Strangely easy. Listen, Strawberry. I'd never have let you into the garden. I don't uh, understand how I need a drink. Gave you permission. <laughs> well, anyway, you have to bring him the basket hmm. of vegetables I tell you to take. I don't really know what's going on right now. <laughs> I'll just sprinkle this magic powder and the vegetables will just pop out. Cause magic. I mean it is called magic. Oh what are these now, things? Are they leaks. Put the vegetable shortest in hat into the basket. Gosh. <laughs> this is so complicated. Did he pick it up? Or oh, is he not gonna pick it up? Is it a leak? I can't even tell. I think it's a leak. That's right. That's the vegetable I asked for. Now, put the vegetable shortest in height into the basket. So you basically want the two shortest. Sometimes you only ask for one vegetable. Can you imagine having a basket for just one vegetable? There. All the right vegetables are in the basket. There you go, we've got two vegetables this time. Bring it to Abra quickly. A whole basket of vegetables. Abra. Actually, two Goodbye vegetables. Garden magician. garden magician? There's a magician that makes vegetables grow. I wonder if he can make them grow in winter. Okay, so we'll give the vegetables a to vegetable him first. Basket. Here's the basket of vegetables, Abra. Take it. Fine, but I'm still waiting for my hat. I mean, you could have just picked your own vegetables, and hat. you could have got your own hat, but you know. Abra, Abra, I found your hat. Strawberry, I'm so happy. I'm three times happy. First, three times I happy. That's oddly specific. Second, because I can work the vegetable magic without mistakes. And third, because you prove to me that you are not a mistake. You are great and a magician of wonderful talent. Um, Here, thank you. Take this pink turnip. Inside it is one of the magic items you are looking for. I'm leaving now. Don't forget to come back to me once you have the three items. Okay then. I have a pink turnip with the magic Thank item you inside much, it. Abra. But just a minute. How do Looks I like get a tomato. Item out of the turnip? And he won't tell me. Of course he's not gonna tell me. Psst. Strawberry, come here. Abra may think you're a great magician, but I know it's not so easy to get your hands on a magic item if you don't study to become a magician. The best thing you could do is go to the forest sorceress. She'll help you to get the item out of the turnip. Okay then. <laughs> Let's go inside and uh, give Abretta her cherry coated to the magician's daughter's room. apple. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks like an apple. Let's see if it looks like an apple when I give it to her. Well, have you brought me the sugar coated cherry? Yes and no. I mean, it was a cherry, but when it came out, it, it, it turned into something else. That's yummy! That looks really tasty! Mmm, it just melts in my mouth! Strawberry, from now on we're friends! Yeah, it looks like an apple. <laughs> it's a toffee apple. Ronnie, Ronnie, listen. I have to confess something. She can't be your girlfriend. I'm in love with a Bretta, and I've tried so hard to make a good impression on her, and I've never succeeded. Every time, instead of falling in love with me, she threw me out. I wonder now why. She's fallen in love with you so easily. Don't worry, Strawberry. Once I go back to being Ronnie again and I go home, she'll go on thinking that you're me. And if you behave yourself, she'll stay your friend. Oh, but Strawberry wants a little bit more than a uh, friend. Strawberry, honey, now that you and I are friends, I want to give you my picture. You can take it with you when you leave. But now, let's talk about really important things. Let's talk about clothes. Clothes? There she goes again with all her silly interests. Oh, I'm going to get some sleep. 
I think you've been sleeping for this whole entire game. I have anything to wear, but I see lots of clothes here. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. I never have the clothes for what I need. I'll tell you what I need it for, and then let's see if you can find the right piece of clothing. Oh boy. I'll climb onto the table, and we'll see what you can offer me. Ooh. Hurry up and find the right piece of clothing. Okay, what do you need? <laughs> you got to be specific, like, what do you want? Let's say that I'm invited to the annual chewing gum party where they are very strict about everyone being dressed all in pink. What am I going to wear? Yes, yes, I'm waiting. Let me know when you're finished. Oh my goodness, it's so bossy. <laughs> I mean, you have heaps of pink things in this room, and I, I don't even know. Is this pink? This the one? Party gown. It's red? No. It doesn't even look red, but okay. Strawberry is red. Pink fresh. Okay. Mm, yes. I think I like that. Your clothes are really odd. I don't know what that is. Is that a hat? I think that's a hat. That's exactly what I need to wear in my hair. You, uh, you got a little something poking out of that hat. I, I don't know. Has it got a hollow top on it or something? Dancing shoes. Oh, this is marvelous. You've managed to find something for me to wear among all these old rags. Now that we're friends, I can tell you a secret. I'm mad at my mirror. I just don't understand it. It claims that all I do all day is look into it, and that makes the mirror angry. Probably because that's all you do. Me. Come with me into the next room and see what it has decided to do. Okay then. Let's just get it out of the way before it takes us forever. Go away. Enough is enough. Hardly a minute goes by when she changes what she's wearing and then she comes and looks at me. Don't you think this is a little too much? You don't? Well, this time I won't let you look into me. Okay, then. Oh, this is great. What a fabulous mirror. Just my style. Why should it work all day long? I really like this. I don't think it's a fact of wanting to work. I think he's just tired of her just staring at it constantly. I so very much want to know what I look like today. Oh, you want to know what you look like constantly. It's really annoying. You look horrible, okay? <laughs> FYI, I don't that to um, real girls. <laughs> Apparently, they don't take kindly to it. I mean, you could just pick the hammer up yourself. You, you appear to know this, so. Anyway. It has to be like this. Your hair needs to be up. It has to be like this. It has to be like this. Apparently, she has no mouth, for whatever reason. It has to be like this. It has to be like this. Okay, I think that's everything. Up the hammer. I'd better stay put until the I get anyone angry. Oh, here I am. I look so pretty. I just love to look at pretty things. You know what, Strawberry? You, from now on, you too can look at pretty things. Here, have my picture. Oh, that that's Thank so very much. pretty. I'm really glad. But before I leave, there is a question I want to ask you. Maybe you know where I can find the magic. Yes, please tell. Of course. I can help you a lot. But before I do that, you have to bring back the string of pearls that was lost. How convenient. I already have this. So, here you go. Have fun with it. Here is the string of pearls. I worked very hard to get it for you. Strawberry, I'm happy that I found out that you're my good friend. And I really like you. Here, I have in my possession one magic item that you have certainly earned. Take good care of it. It will help you find the magic. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I have now got one magic item which looks like a skittle. <laughs> Great. We're on the right track. Now let's go do the turnip. And we'll do the portrait and I believe the dice cube. I don't remember off the top of my head. 
but I think that's the last item we use. For some reason, I think it opens areas or something. I think that's what Gobble Goody said. It opened up magical closed areas. I don't know. I'm just sort of making this up as I go because I don't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> I don't have any more understanding or logic towards all the BS that has pretty much gone on in this game right now. So we'll get on the train and Strawberry will probably talk for like half an hour again before we can actually get on it because this game is extremely slow which is probably why it's not an hour long. Mr. Designer, your train is really more like I mean getting two hours out of a game of this era is actually really good because I most games were probably I'm only sure like an hour edutainment games if you're lucky. But this one managed to get to two hours. Adventure games are definitely a lot longer. Adventure games seem to be getting up into like eight hours you're looking at. Um, eight hours is usually the standard for adventure games. Edutainment games you're looking like half an hour to an hour. Um, the Putt-Putt games, the first ones were about half an hour. And unless you clicked on everything and did everything. Hello Madam Forest Sorceress. I need your help very much. I've brought the magic pink turnip with me, and I need to release the magic item inside it. Yes, release the item for me, Show oh great one. magic pink turnip, and I'll be glad to help you. Okay, um, here is this turnip. turnip, which looks really odd. Oh my goodness, what's with your hat? So pink and juicy, I'll put it down here. The magic to release an item is very difficult. And you'll have to help me. I mean, you could just eat it. Or cut it open. I mean, that's all I'd do. Strawberry, even the most talented magicians in the world sometimes need help from less talented magicians. But on a different subject, I'll let you in on a big secret. Abra does not know the magic of the pink turnip. And my specialty is in the magic of release. So it's a good thing you've come to me. All the items in this room can put together the magic to release an item. However, in order to know what items are needed for the pink turnip, I have to close my eyes and dream. The items will soon appear in my dream. Alright. You can help me by looking into my dream and try to remember the items that appeared in it. Then. Bring them to me from the cubby holes on the wall. Seems easy enough. This must be the dream. I have to a clock, the a pot looking thing. I'm not too sure what the other thing is, and I think a necklace or a bracelet. I mean, now, seems legit. The items you saw in the dream. Okay, so we'll bring the clock. A clock. Uh, where is that other item? The bracelets. Oh, it's a necklace. Okay. Um. A picture. A picture. Okay. What is this thing? The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. Jeez, I wish I had that. Okay, I found everything. Now that we have created the magic, we have to make it work on the turnip. Here, Strawberry. The trick has succeeded. The magic item is coming out. It looked like it just dissolved. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Okay, so we have two items. We just need the last one. Probably the nicest cutscene in the game was this train. Even though it doesn't have to go that far. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to Heartman and we'll give him the picture of a Britta. I think he gives us the disc that opens that door where that bird is. I don't know why this is so slow. It's so painful. Imagine playing it on Windows 95. 
I played some pretty bad games on Windows 95. And it used to be really bad because when I played the Smurfs, it'd be stuck, have that never ending loop of music. I think I mentioned it in the last video. <laughs> it was really weird. I don't know why he does that. Oh, before we do. I am so miserable. A Bretta loves someone else. She has a new boyfriend. They say he is short, chubby, and red. Oh, if I only had her picture. Apparently, he's also very slow. A Bretta's photograph. Look how look at how smug that face is right there. It looks so smug. A picture of a Bretta, the magician's daughter. Oh, strawberry. I am so happy. Here, take this disc. I worked hard to get it. They say that it will open any heart. It didn't work for me. Maybe it will work for you. Apparently he said something else. So, um, I'm gonna go now before he actually puts two and two together. Short, chubby, and red. Hey, Strawberry, come here! Come back here! Too late to be jealous now, my friend. You've given me the magic disc. Okay. Alright. Work is magic, and magic's work too. This is well known to me and to you. Open sissy, open <gasps> Cecil. The door has opened. There we go. Mmm, I'll just finish eating, and we'll fly over the deep, dark pit. Let's go! Hurry up, birdie! Fly, birdie, fly! I am questioning the laws of physics on this bird's wings. Look how high we're flying! This is lots of fun. It should not logically be able to fly with feet like that. Whoa. Why is his neck stretching out like that? Oops! We've landed! Flybird, the door to the cave is closed. I'll go and take a closer look. Okay, let's go take a closer look then. Ronnie, the firefly fairy lives in the dark. She doesn't like the light. Only special magic will open the cave. Magic dice cube. Magic dice cube. And I'm just gonna toss it, apparently. You know. This dice cube is opening the cave. What should I do now? Enter the cave and discover the fairy's secret. Unlike other edutainment games where you have items where you could possibly reuse them for other puzzles or possibly just avoid a puzzle altogether and miss out on part of a story, this one here actually makes sure it uses every single item. So I, I don't know whether to praise it or whether to just say it's very simple because of that. I didn't toss it up and mix it up a bit. Look, Ronnie, the fairy doesn't like the light and doesn't like visitors. That's why she hides. But when a visitor does come, she comes out disguised as a firefly, and she always has some real fireflies around her to light up the cave. The secret is that the fairy's light is not steady, and as soon as she comes out, it blinks for a few seconds. Okay then. Seems easy enough. Pay careful attention, Ronnie. When the group of fireflies come out, you have to direct your attention to the one whose light blinks. You must then follow her and catch her. If you succeed, the fairy will appear in her real form. Here they come! Okay. Oh my goodness. My eyes. My poor eyes. This is enough to give someone a seizure. Before my very eyes. How beautiful and regal she is. Epilepsy warning. Hello, brave Ronnie. I'm so pleased that you tried so hard to meet me. You are a very special boy, and you have a brilliant future ahead of you. Uh, hello to you too, Firefly Fairy. You... 
You know that... that I'm Ronnie? Of course. I've been waiting for your visit for quite some time. As a matter of fact, ever since you arrived in Magic Land. I wanted to make sure that even when you saw some glittering magic, you would know how to tell which is the real magic. You have done that, and you have earned this magic item. Here, it is yours. Wonderful! I have three magic items! I have to go to Abra quickly! Okay, let's go to Abra then. Come on, Birdie, let's, let's go. go! fly bird! We're taking off! Birdie, fly! Fly! And your head went into the ground. That was peculiar and odd. And there's that still image of the pixeled clouds, uh, clouds again. <laughs> I can't English today. It's my first language and I cannot speak it properly. Thank you very much, Flybird. It was wonderful flying with you. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. If you have, please tell all your friends and relatives about our wonderful service, always available to you. Thank you for flying British Airways. Birdish Airways. My goodness, that's so creative. Let's go back to Abra's house and give him the items. I can't believe we actually have to walk all the way back there. <laughs> that's odd. And weird. I should have just put the ending with it. I think they could have cut this out and just put the ending where he goes back to Abra's house. I think it would have been nicer. Because I think you get drawn out of the cutscene in the game a little bit. Because of it. You, know, you need a game that reels you in and keeps you there. Unfortunately, this game just really doesn't do it. After a while, you get a little bored of it. And I'm not just saying that because I'm older, because I can still play other games that are way younger for me and they can reel me in still, but this one just couldn't keep it. Even when I was a kid, I only played it, I think I only played it twice in my whole entire life. And this would be the third time. So I never, I never played it a lot. Abra, Abra, open the door! I have the three magic items. Ronnie, you have succeeded. You have found the three magic items. Now that you have proven that your will to find the magic was strong enough to let you succeed in the difficult tasks you were given. I can reveal to you the real secret of magic. But I've already found it! I have the magic! Listen to me, Ronnie. And I can tell you that I know you are Ronnie. Yes, you did find magic. But that is just a magic trick. It is an illusion when the audience thinks that you have performed magic when really you have only been quick with your hands. This is what Rabbit Owner the Magician did. Is not real magic. The secret of real magic is in this book, and I will reveal it to you. Strawberry, you had better listen too, although I think that you already understand most of the secret. As you have already seen, work and commitment are the magic. When we want something very, very much, we sometimes think that what we want is magic. But if we work hard and keep at it, we will always reach the magic. Magic Land is the proof of this. You saw for yourselves. You have seen that you cannot be a good magician without studying in school to gain the knowledge that will allow you to invent things. Like the train designer does. Every kind of work has its own special magic. You've seen that with the artist, the carpenter, the porter, and the vegetable. You learned from the forest sorcerers that you cannot use knowledge that someone else gave you. It's a fact. Only she could get the magic out of the turnip you brought her. You most certainly learned that you cannot steal knowledge and use it, like the student in the magician's school tried to do. We have seen that every goal we hope to reach magic that requires hard work. You even have to work hard to gain love. That's right, isn't it, Strawberry? You had to work hard to win my daughter's love. 
I am happy that Magic Land was able to teach you what we already know. After you understand how to get magic and use it correctly, even if you are faced with several kinds of magic that your will wants to achieve, you will be able to choose the best magic among them for you, as you did with the Firefly Fairy. And you don't have to be afraid, even if you think that a deep, dark pit separates you from your magic. Remember, anyone who feels that the work is too hard and can't do it by himself can always turn to his community for help and get it, as the vegetables did and succeeded in getting their own magic. Remember this too. Even when things get tough, you must never take the easy and short path of stealing magic. That will only land you in the police station. Here, buddy, I'm granting you the real magic, and also the illusion magic, that you can perform at the party. I wish you luck, and more than that, I wish you luck in finding the real magic for you. And you, Strawberry, come back home. Even if it's hard for you, we understand. Make no mistake, we love you and will help you. Abra, it will be so different going back to Magic Land now that everybody loves me. I want... I also want to find my real goal. I'll find the magic. But just a moment, I want to say goodbye to Ronnie. I can't believe it. They always knew that you were not me, and yet they helped us. Ronnie, I'm going back. I'm going back full of energy. My task is to find my magic and become the best magician in the world. And I'm sure you'll succeed. Thank you for all your help. I'll miss you, Strawberry. Don't start missing me yet. Did you forget? We have a party! We are going to perform magic! Let's go! The crowd was amazed, and were all wondering where did Ronnie learn such wonderful magic. But only Ronnie and Strawberry knew the real magic they learned was not the one shown on stage. 